Welcome everybody to One and Gymnasium here in Northwest Washington, D.C. Today's game that features Iron Man goalie is Blood Red. I'm ready! <laughs> Gladiators, ready? <laughs> yes, ready! And we are underway. Both teams are 4 and 1, and the winner of this game is thankfully an incredible upset earlier is going to be all alone in first place. And already we have a shot by 13 Coleman unable to go in. Let's see if they keep up the physical play from the last game. Gold was really physical in the last game, and, and let's see almost, if they keep it up. It almost worked to their advantage. I mean, they were stymied on the on the defensive end, but a 2-1 win keeps them up to 4-1, just like Blood Red is. Uh, if, you, if you can find the highlights of that last game, please let us know because we weren't taping it. <laughs> well, I had, oh yeah, definitely Yellow was off to a really good start. Uh, oh, you uh, Mandel did not know what to get. We didn't know what we were getting with the newly uh, formed goal team. They're doing pretty good. Yeah, they, they still have quality players. They've got Pat Sitchin, they've got Coleman, number 13, Aaron, number 8, everybody's familiar with. And of course, Molly Sedaris as well, the top female on their team. On the other side, you have, it all comes down to Tommy Bowser, 78. Oh, yeah. I played with him before. He's, he's one of their top scorers. And if he and also uh, Jonas, the Swede, on the bench, are able to do something. Blood Red ought to be able to stand on top as this game ends. Now Molly's still battling in the middle. The draw now with it for gold. You're wondering why everyone's standing at center. That's the way the offside works in this league. You have to get the ball across mid-court before the players get across. Yes, I know. It's been a little challenging for some teams, but... Oh, yeah, I'm getting used to it because we don't have to... We're not, this gym isn't big enough for the three zones. Oh, no. And this is in the NHL here. Exactly. So we got a bit of a fight in the corner, and that's going to lead to a dead ball. And probably what happened is, it's hard to see on this angle, but there is actually a, uh, a dead spot, a, a, almost a, a ridge, a ditch really, in that part of the corner. And that's probably where the ball went, which causes the dead ball. Here comes the draw. And we're ready to begin. Now, last week, Joel was able to go to three and one, with a, um, but only did so after he lost the problem. Meanwhile, Blood Red put their game. The first one was a dynamic 10-2 win over the Scorpions, in which they just threw everything they had. Second game... Well, There's more of a defensive battle that game. Yeah, it was. The second game wound up losing 4-1. Here's Jonas. He is the man we're talking about here. He has come on strong early on. Good shot. And is it in? No, they're going to say he has it. Face-off coming. Yeah, Jonas is definitely one of the upcoming stars in this league, for sure. He, he uh, has been very familiar with most of the players in this league. For those who don't know, a lot of these players also play in a league in Annandale, so there's a lot of familiarity out here. And I can tell you from experience, Jonas is one of the top players in that Annandale league as well. Oh, he plays in the Annandale he league? Ah. He does. Oh, wow. And uh, Aaron able to clear the zone here. Now, Ann and Evan change it. Man, she is a solid defender. She very is. solid defender. She needs to work on the shot a little, but she's got the, she's got the clearance down path. Oh yeah, she can clear, and she's definitely always in pretty good position. All right, able to pick it out of the corner. That's Jimmy Bantano for gold. Now Pat said you were able to make the clear. I definitely think this is going to be a defense versus an offense type of game. Yeah, that's the way the two teams have played so far. Gold very strong on defense. Roger, one of the top goalies in the league. Meanwhile, like we've been saying, they had a lot of good shooters. So that's probably what you're going to see here. And they got some pretty good danglers too. Danglers? Yeah, danglers. Yeah, they can definitely. Uh, Definitely get around you if you like. Ah, I see what you mean. And Andor Ford does bring it up. Pass Phil trying to bring it into the corner. And looks like Gonzalo's going to get there first for goal. All takes a funny hop. It tends to do that in this gym. I see that a lot. For those wondering, though, we don't have a capacity crowd. We have an automatic crowd machine. <laughs> so, <laughs> unfortunately. Uh, this one not decided by Roger. Not able to get around to it. Looking for no, we are not at the Verizon Center, folks. Sorry. If only. All our apologies. And the shot uh, was going to go well wide. It's covered by Jonas. He's looking for someone here. And Tom Bowser. He's knocked away by Pat. Very well done. It's coming our way now. And Andor able to keep it in the zone. The zone does to extend to the back web line, which is a way to try and keep as much separation as possible and allow for longer shots. Good clear by Tom Lesnar, the top goalie for Blood Red. I gotta tell you about him. I love his throwback tribute to the Canadian, especially Jacques Plant. Love oh, yeah. it. Love That's it. Vintage Jacques Plant jersey here. Not to mention, he's got the 1970s uh, Jason Voorhees mask over. Yes, I know. We all have to appreciate. Let's just hope we all make it out alive tonight. I tell you. <laughs> <laughs> 
Out of zone. Machado able to control it and plays it off to the side where Nandor is. Nandor able to control. He's got time looking up. And there's the zone is still too soon for Reds. They're going to have to retreat. Allowing the whole team to free run. So now everyone's back and they're allowed to come back in. Pass goes straight to Stone. He's going to try and get around the pack. Can't do it. Ball's loose in the center. Tommy able to control it. Tommy now around the corner. Lost into the boards. Able to get it back. Man, there's a bit of a battle going on underneath. I don't know if you can see it. Oh, Aaron, no, Nandor able to keep it in. Going close to the way. Pat has to bring Aaron back on side. Does so. And uh, they're going to say that was a good pass. They're going to say Evan was able to keep it in. Now Tommy brings it across. He's looking for Jonas on the cut. Jonas on the move. There's the play. Can't get it to him. So Jonas will have to send it by the board. And it's forced to retreat out of the zone. Evans applies token pressure, but nothing there. No score yet in the first period. Yeah, how do you see it so far, Scott? Oh, it's definitely, they're evenly matched right now. They're just going, they're just going toe to toe. They're in the zone, out of the zone. They're, they're just, they're both playing great. That's what, that's what I said too, is uh, Aaron looks for Evan, unable to get there. Now Evan, wearing the Brazilian jersey, as you can see. Uh, the court involved, he's even got the Brazilian shoes, which I think is a nice touch. <laughs> uh, into the corner. And now it's back to Pat Fisher at the point. He's going to shoot. That ball goes wide, but he's taking a deflection out there, and Amy is able to control it. Uh, this will be uh, going to roll as soon as they're able to get it out of the, uh, out of the bench area. No boards in this league, uh, unless you count the walls, which uh, not too many people do, although I call them boards. Uh, that's yeah. just for a uh, close just, enough. Close yeah, enough. Okay. Might as well. Again, I mean, we're, 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 we're not the NHL here in the AHL. You yeah, know. We're, we're in a high school gym. What do you want from us? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Now, uh, Nandor Korgash bringing it up again. Bowser getting back on side to allow the play to continue for Red. You see Tommy Bowser. And look at how well they get on side, too. Oh, they, they, they're they they're pretty good oh, on communication right now. They ride the line, try and get there. Jonas able to control. Passes to Tommy with a slap shot, tipped up. Back away by Aiden. Nice shot in the corner. Looks like he's able to get the inside track on it. Tipped away by McGraw, and now Evan looking to clear. Do you notice how they're double covering Jonas? You notice know that? Well, they, they, they know who to look for. Yeah, given the performance he had last week was a two hat trick in two games, I am not surprised at all. No, no, absolutely not. You have to keep an eye on him. Now, uh, Ann Weiss-Carver playing it in the corner. Uh, there is no real uh, rule as to what you have for your name on the jersey, which is why you see uh, some people first names, some with second names. Or even Aaron going with a, with a classic XFL jersey going. Oh, yeah. Well, especially love on Pravda. Giggity. Love that Family Guy reference. Oh, yes. Love it. Moving forward. A little frustration on Evans' part as he loses the bonus, but he's able to strip back. Bring it up the side. He's looking around the corner. Nobody there. Aaron going to try. Looks like he's taking the goal. And it is Coleman coming in now as Forgash playing in the corner. All is loose. Fonzano able to take it away. Up to the middle through everyone's leg, and Marciano forced to make a play on it. As it goes to the corner, Coleman has it. Now Coleman, he's looking center. He has a man there, but he doesn't have the angle. Doesn't have the aisle, so he's got to play behind the net, and that's going to be an easy clear for Red. Now again, walking the line, able to get it across in time. Fight along the along the corners. Yep. Now pass to the middle. Nobody there. Jonas has to push it down again. You see, he's just stepped after this ball. Now four guys in the corner. He's looking. Okay, that's where Jonas is. Oh, we got a hot. No, no, no. Oh, 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 yeah. oh, we got a break right here. Going the other way. The shot. Oh, oh. Three Rebound coming in the ground. That's fine. Here comes the action. Oh, here we go. We're going to fight in the corner. Now, there is no checking in this league, although you'll probably see a little contact, but you try to play some like basketball rules, the best I can tell. Yeah, a little contact on her. Yeah, exactly. This is hockey here. All right. Oh, oh. oh it's clear looking up. Here comes Jonas. Tommy Bowser. There's the shot to save. Rebound. Save it, save it. That's oh, a oh, great save. Right, talk about highway robbery there. And Bowser able to take advantage of a two-on-one. Play loose in the middle. No shot is safe, but there's a rebound. And they tend to rebound. There's trouble, but he is able to react in time. Oh, man. I don't know too much about Gold's goalie, but i got to tell you from what I see, he's definitely in the right position at the right time. 
definitely a very strong fundamental goalie. That's the kind you need in this league. That's right. You need goalies to win. Now back to the season. Two is the ball is trying to get around the top of the knot. Ball is out. Uh, we find ourselves kind of in the middle yes. of the area. We apologize yeah. for that. Now, while we're up, oh! oh! And it just drifts wide. Now, Almost drifted in. So there's Evan Cleared. Now, Bob, the other way. He's got Coleman. Coleman knocks it away. Not really that much to John Coleman. He'll be able to recover. Tries again. Another save by Mr. Jones. Now, now, we're bringing it around. He's got it. He's got it. He's just saved by Roger. Now, he's going to be cleared. Plays loose. Jonas has to bring it into a tree. Tommy has to come back. Okay, we'll bring it back. That's a legal pet. A legal play there. Looking up the kill in the corner. It gets caught up. And for those who don't know, it's 90 degrees outside, so that's why we got the fans around here. Uh, this gym does not have very good convection. Let's just put it that way. No, we're definitely not near the ice, people. And ball is loose. Cleared by the wall down to the red zone. Bowser able to keep it and... Uh, no real pressure, though Coleman now starting to make a move. Place to Jonas. Again, nothing really hard from goal. Nothing that they have to worry about. Now Pat Sidhu able to clear. Coleman I ruled on side, I guess. Trying to get it around as many shoots. Oh! Oh! Huh? I heard you guys say we have possession in the corner of the This is what we'll call a commenting <laughs> over here. <laughs> Coleman with the break, we able to get around a mistake in the defense, puts it past Marciano. We are one nothing to go right now, and that is huge. Now they're, especially with Gold's ability to shut down a team defensively. Absolutely, and that's going to be the story here, if they're able to do it with the red with a very high option offense. Now the down Wide, wide again, that ball almost goes around and in, but Pat's able to get there first. Goes out the door, goal will get possession. Uh, no, nope, wait, they're going to rule yeah. to play it. If Blood Red can keep, can keep it in their zone and not and not get stuck in their own zone, they'll, def they'll definitely, they'll de they still have a chance to win this game. Yeah, this Absolutely. Game, this game is not finishing one nothing. people. Oh no, I but, sure considering I play with Blood Red, it's, it, it's always far, it's never over. Never right. over with them. Exactly. They always have the ability to come back on you. But the real question is, do they have a mental toughness? We have seen it in the past with Blood Red. They have found themselves down early and unable to find a way back in. It's almost like they wonder, you know, who's going to step up and take the initiative. Now Phil playing up in Andor, trying to get it around Situ. It's up. And not oh, right in the Off into the corner. Now we got a three-way scramble for this one. Now Susan Situ will go control it. Up to McGraw. McGraw's got a one-on-one. -on -one no help, and Bowser able to stop. Good play by Tommy Bowser. Great Absolutely. play. Absolutely. Back the other way, Molly on the little floor. DC bringing it up. Because there was a shot on goal, it's not just offside, but it's a dead ball offside. That's it's the only time we actually pay attention, we actually stop play for an offside in this league. So that's going to be a face-off down in the red zone. One nothing so far here on a goal by Coleman. About late first period. Yep, uh, I'd say probably a two and a half, two, something like that. Uh, we, we don't really have a good view of the goal, uh, of the clock is our problem. Now it's Evan with control, trying to get it back to Pat Sidhu. Aaron unable to control it. Bonzano has it at the wing. Off the way by Phil, which we were fighting for it. And also, another thing in this league is you have to watch the two feet rule, too, especially That's down right. the if corners. If you are along the board, you are getting a little leeway so that there is no slamming into the board. We had that happen in the last game, which is unfortunate. Good uh, clear by Sidhu. Indeed. Bill able to control it. Aaron providing the pressure at this point. Yeah, less than a minute to go here in the first period. one nothing to go. Ball is brought out. Aaron has to come back. Aaron is able to... Wait for it. Uh, uh, yes. We got a slash call on Evan, so it's going to be power play to red. That power play will last the rest of this period and some of the rest. Let's 
sides lining up now. Less than a minute left in the first period, so this is how he's going to carry over. Ten second countdown is starting. Thousand to the four now, trying to get there. Iron trying to clear it. Nearly runs over DC. Ball's in center. And that's going to end a very entertaining first period. The only goal by Coleman. And we have a one-nothing game. We'll see.